let's take a closer look at the various intricate components of the robot. The first is the Z-Stereo camera along with the wide-angle camera present in the top cap of the robot. They are used for people detection as well as for obstacle avoidance. The LED cleaning indicator is also present here and either flashes red to warn people to stay away or green which shows that it is safe to approach. Next are the Philips UVC tubes along with their extend and rotate mechanism. Four of them are present, each of which is 180 watts and can extend to a height of 2 meters. The angle of each can also be varied from 0 to 90 degrees. The central compartment comes next with the wiring and with the second LED indicator. This is followed by the RP LiDAR which performs the SLAM and helps in mapping and navigation. It has a range of 20 meters. Next is the base which has several components. First are the cooling fans. These fans are temperature controlled to reduce the temperature of the other electronic components in the base. There are four of these present, each of which are 30 mm 5 volt DC fans. They help in actively cooling the base. Next is the battery pack, which is 25.6 volts and is the main power source of the robot. It is also rechargeable. The next three components are the Advenomega, the motor shield and the step down converter. The main component of the base is the NVIDIA Jetson AGX Xavier Developer Kit. The ROS Melodic and the Ubuntu 18.04 is running on this device. The last components are the omnidirectional wheels with magnetic encoded motors. These components in unison with the software work together to provide the best possible disinfection of any environment.